was good. Let's give them a, a praise of all things to God. To God, and to God, to God, to God. Amen, amen, amen. I'm glad to see Brother Larry Wingate. Is he out there? And the family, praise God. Well, hey, welcome home, kids. Glad th th these are not strangers. They're part of the church. They're temporarily in Louisiana. Amen. They're on TDY there. Praise God. Amen, amen, amen. Lord bless the choir.
that big time pro Steve. No, you're not. Look at your leg. Yes, I am. Don't worry. Come on, man. service started, and uh, I want to welcome each one. I met Wendy over here, God bless you, Wendy, and from uh, Gibsonton, Florida, that put that way, and we're happy you're here, and uh, then I met, I couldn't, I just, my ears didn't pick up the proper name, is it, is it, um, is it, where is Jamie Robinson here tonight? Right there, I met Jamie. members, I'm sure, um, related in, Brother Rosales, are they family members? Yes. All right, praise God. Yes. Let's give them a great big welcome. Yes. I'm happy that they're here. And then uh, I've met uh, Austin down here and Elsie down in the, uh, in the front, Jones, uh, right down front. Uh, we're, we're happy that you're here, young people here for the first time. They work. He works with Mike Van Hattie, and I'm glad Brother Mike invited him to his church. And you young people be at home tonight and welcome here among the family of God in the tabernacle. We're having so many different visitors come now, and the Lord is bringing his children home. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be doing it right. Now, they don't want me to do this, but I'm going to do it anyway. I'm just going to be honoring and do it anyway. Uh, you know, Carol does not like attention. And uh, uh, McClinton. And Jim doesn't like a lot himself. He comes from a very reserved father, very reserved mother. And I knew them both. And I knew Carol's mother. And I go along with it. But I'm, I'm glad to see them home with it. of my spirit. And uh, then, of course, uh, Brother Larry and, and you and Deidre and that lovely daughter, she's growing up so much. My, I declare it my time. The next time I see her, she'll be graduating from college. And, uh, and you know, just going on through. Uh, but aren't we glad to see these transplants? Uh, God, they're home with us tonight. Amen. Yeah. And Brother Larry, be at home. Feel free to get on your feet and let the Lord use you. And uh, Deidre, sing for us. In fact, I'm going to call on you right away before too long. Sing whatever God gives you. And uh, whatever song. She, she's a songbird. And she grew up in this church. And we appreciate Larry and Deidre. They, they helped build this place. Yes. Yeah. Their father was with me as associate minister here between 35 to 37 years and uh, could be back with me again before my life cycle is through. Uh, you know, it's very possible because we remain not just brothers in Christ while Brother James Harris was here, uh, but uh, we remain brothers in Christ today. And though he's up in Blair, Mississippi, we all miss Brother Harris, don't yeah, we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We love Brother Harris. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Sister Margie, his well. present wife, his first wife, uh, Sister Deidre's mom, went on to be with the Lord, and uh, Billy Harris, and we miss her, my goodness. But I see her everywhere here. Amen. You know, you miss a person, but you can see them. Amen. They leave their mark behind. They leave their imprint. They footprint, Sister Billy Harris, and uh, she uh, just went away to be with the Lord in such a beautiful home going up in Mississippi, and uh, I flew up there to see her in the hospital and 
took her my book. She wanted to read my book and took a copy up to Capturing Life and Letting It Go. And uh, so we enjoy these good memories. And it's good to have good memories in life. Amen. Good to have life and then good memories in life. And tonight we're going to worship the Lord. I minister today. I'd like for the brethren around me to minister tonight. I'd like for the sisters. I want the Holy Spirit. We don't have a program. I was telling the young people, came with Mike. We don't have a program. And I don't have to minister every time I stand at my feet. Sometimes I can just welcome you, let you know that I love God as the shepherd of the church here. And God has been good to me. And today he gave us such a wonderful thought. I didn't get time to develop it, but I'll be back with it. Uh, there in the third chapter of Isaiah, in that beautiful picture that he gave us of extending grace, or he can take grace from you. Uh, God controls grace. What is grace? Let's define the word a minute. I'll speak here a minute and just uh, cut off when the Lord gets through with me here in a few moments. Uh, but what is grace? By grace, the book of Ephesians, Paul the Apostle writes, by grace are you saved. How are you saved? Do you join a church? Do you sign a card? Are you baptized into the church? Is there water sprinkled upon you? Um, what do you? How do you get into the church? But more importantly, how do you enter into Christ? and Christ enter into you. You cannot enter into Christ without Christ entering into you. Amen. He must come into you. Yes. If he hasn't come into you, he said, I am with you before the cross, before he died, before the crucifixion. He said, lo, I'm, I'm, I'm with you now, the Holy Spirit. He spoke of the Holy Spirit. He said, he, he, he dwelleth with you, and he shall be in you. That, that transferring of uh, Christ from the cross to the grave. And up from the grave he arose. And then on the promised day, he said, I will send you another comforter. And he will be with you. And he will lead and guide you. And he will teach you. Well, that promise was fulfilled because when they went, the infant church, of the first century went to the upper room. They did not go there to join a club no. or become a society no. or to let people look at their looks, their appearance, because after all, the scripture said, God doesn't see and doesn't look upon the outward appearance, but God sees the heart. Yeah. And so in that upper room, they received the promise that Jesus promised them that they would be with them, and it caused them to become the mighty, powerful, growing, thriving, covering the earth from, like Jesus said in Acts, the first chapter, he said, after that uh, you receive the Holy Ghost, you will receive power. Uh, he said, you'll receive this power after the Holy Ghost has come upon you. You shall receive power, dynamis. The Greek word is dynamis, meaning dynamite, literally. When Christ comes into you and your life changes and you become a Christian, not by membership, not by uh, sprinkling of the water or being baptized in the water, but because Christ enters into you. Uh, and how does he do that? You confess him with your mouth. You believe in your heart and you're not ashamed of him. And Christ receives you and you become his child, and you become his temple, yes. and he lives in you. Yes. What a wonderful thought it is. Oh my goodness, I feel so good right now. Standing here, I've got Christ in me. Amen. Now you may have him there, and you can have him there, because he shares. He can be in you and be in me. I can't confine him. I don't have all of him. I just have Christ. I have the portion of him that comes into me. You have the portion of the Holy Spirit in you. Together that makes the church, the ecclesia, uh, the called out, the separated. Uh, the, you know, this world is not my home. 
no. That old, that old <laughs> song we sang, we sang that song 70 years ago yeah. in Pentecost in the churches. This world is not my home. I'm just a passing through. My treasures are laid up somewhere beyond the blue. The angels beckon me from heaven's open door, and I can't be at home in this world anymore. Oh, Lord, you know I have no friend like you. If heaven's not my home, then, Lord, what will I do? Thank you, Jesus. The angels beckon me from heaven's open door. And I can't feel at home in this world anymore. Well, glory. <laughs> Thank God for those old songs. They do something for you. Praise God. Well, when you get too much at home in this world, remember, it's not a very good home because it ends. I'm going to a home where it never will end. I'll live and never die. I'll see his face and I'll look upon him and I'll worship him. And I'll, someone said, build me a cabin in the corner of Gordon that song doesn't fit with me. I am not looking for a cabin in the corner of Glory Land. No, no. I believe there's a, a, there's a house. And in my father's house. Are, and it's not a cabin. It's not a little one room. It's a split level. It's a trial level. It just goes up and up and up. It's a mansion. Praise our God. My goodness tonight. You better shout before God comes. Or he's going to get you to shout. Amen. 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 God. And so we're going to have a great service tonight. And the Lord's going to help us. And let that Holy Ghost go in you and through you and work with you. It'll, I'll tell you what the Holy Ghost will do. It'll rest you when you're tired. It'll lift you up when you're blue. It'll come to you when you're sad. And when you're lonely, it'll comfort you. And when you have no hope, it'll give you hope. And when you're up against the wall, it'll take the wall down. Praise our God. And you don't know where to go. He'll tell you where to go. Amen. 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 It's a far down. So one fellow told me, he said, I'm so low. If you laid a piece of paper on the floor, I could hang my feet over the edge of it. And I thought, that's low. Uh, I, no matter how low you are, Amen. I'm telling you right now, I have never found Jesus to be a failure. I have found him to be the best friend I ever had. I found him to be the best friend I ever knew. I found him to be the best lover of my soul that has ever been. Praise God. He went to the cross. He went to the grave. But somebody shout to me right now. He came up out of the grave. He arose after three days and three nights. And he's alive tonight. Praise our God. All right, you preachers, get ready to preach around here and sing songs and glorify God. The church is growing and the Lord is helping the assembly. And I'm thanking God for it. And he's helping us and I'm giving him praise. Now, you young people, remember uh, Wednesday night is Rally night. Uh, young people are here on Wednesday night, I'm moving away from Thursday night. We want this church to feel the, uh, uh, the uh, accenting of youth in our church. We love age. That's me and some of us around you think we're that. We're not really. Did you know I'm younger than you are, Haley? Praise God. Amen. Now, you don't believe that, but I can tell now it's not your thing. But, uh, I, uh, but did you know uh, God can make the young old and the old young? Praise our God. Amen. He can do that. And we're the, I'm glad to see young people coming into the church. And I appreciate the hoary head and the age of our church also. But Wednesday night, not Thursday night, but Wednesday night, come marching in here.
be here by 7.30. Get ready to participate and let your voice be heard before you go out into your uh, group where you'll be. God loves you. God loves age. God loves people in the church. God's bringing people together in a wonderful way. And you're only looking at part of the people that are marching toward the church tonight. They're coming, and they're coming from here, and they're coming from there. And they're going to be alive and well, and this church, a year from tonight, remember, come early on a Sunday night. Uh, you, you'll need to come early, because God is getting ready to turn revival loose in the church of the living God. Amen. It is time for that. It is time Amen. for him to work. Amen. And everybody said, Amen, Amen. and praise the Lord. All right, remember that announcement. And also remember, there'll be no Bible study tomorrow evening. I just want to rest. I've been going, 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 going. And um, that Tuesday is uh, celebrating our nation's independence. And we didn't get anything together here at the church in time. But we will have a summer picnic uh, before school starts right here at our church. And uh, tomorrow, uh, Tuesday, enjoy the day with your family plans you have. Uh, but we didn't get it together here, but we will, by the grace of God. And there'll be no choir, band practice, or any of those things. Monday evening we'll rest and get ready for the holiday Tuesday and be back on uh, Wednesday night here in our church. Pray for all the needs we're going over today and believe God. And don't forget Brother John, Sister Teresa Stewart. Uh, keep them before God that they'll get back on their feet and be back in action again. Had a great service in Port Charlotte this morning. I want to commend Brother Rob Borman uh, mm -hmm. and Brother Brenton. They were down there and they took care of that church like old seasoned ministers. And that church was blessed to the Lord. Amen. And the Port Charlotte church is growing. Praise our God. New people there Thursday night, a stable group there today. And God has even raised up a pianist already in that mission. Praise the name of the Lord. Sister Teresa's not there, but that Sister Reba turned loose today, and my goodness, I didn't know that woman could play like that. You see, how many believe God can raise up those in the church to take care of the church? I believe it. I believe it. I believe it. May God bless you richly, every one of you, and go with you, and we're going to ask God to give us a great night. Would you lift your hands with me right now and say in the name of Jesus, Lord, heal the sick. Lord, heal the sick. Take the afflicted and lift them up and take all afflictions away. We believe in the name of Jesus that you can save sinners. You can forgive sin. You can help your people. You can bless the church. You can bless our nation. You can bless our president and Congress. You can let us pray for one another. We believe tonight that you're the living God and that you're coming back again and your word declares it. And we pray tonight that your Holy Spirit will take care of our church and let someone be saved and come to God and give their life to Christ. And we'll give you the praise in the name of Jesus. Touch your neighbor and say, neighbor, it's good to pray with you tonight. Amen, amen, amen. I think we should go ahead and, and receive our Sunday night offering. And the offering, now the way we're going to do it tonight, we're going to have the ushers pass the plates. Uh, we do that sometimes. But we have, an, uh, we have an offering box in the front of the church. And whatever you have to give, while we say and praise the Lord, just go back and put it in the offering box. And uh, if you can't do that, you're handicapped where you can't do that, have an offering, lift your hands, and there'll be a couple of the ushers watching back here, and they'll come and get your offering if you're not able to do that. We found out the offering box was a blessing uh, to the church. Thirteen years, I never received a, box, a pan offering in this church. That box back there, made by carpenters, took care of the needs of the church. I still believe God looks after the church. May God bless you as you give tonight, and God will bless you as you give, because God loves you. Praise the name of the Lord.
So while we're just singing and play, or I don't know, do you have an orchestra number? Is that what you're going to do? All right, while the orchestra plays and blesses the name of the Lord, I'm going to give my offering back here. You may join me if you can, and you're able to give an offering. May God bless you. Richly giving what you can give. Amen.
said, Andrew, it would be a good time for you to come and sing for us. Yeah. Preach, preach, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. 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 Praise the Lord. It's so good to be home. Uh, it's great to see everyone's smiling faces and you're holding up the hands of the Lord and you just keep moving on. That's all so good. And it's grateful. I'm so grateful to be here. And um, I'm going to sing my usual. Um, but before I do, the Lord gave me a song, and I just recently wrote it uh, about a month ago, but I haven't gotten it all together. But I really just want to share the words, because yeah. I believe when the Lord gives you something, you've got to give it back. Yeah. Yeah. And he'll continue to bless you, and he'll continue to give you more. And so I want to empty every chance I get. And um, so, anyway, the words are, his words are my mirror. I can see what I want to be. His touch is my healer. My strength is in him, not me. I say thank you. I say thank you. You are all I need. I say thank you. I say thank you. In him I am complete. Amen. With your spirit you cleanse me. With your love you hold me. My heart has its knowing. Let me be just like thee. And that's what he gave me. And I'm working on it. Maybe next time I come, I'll have it all together. But he's still moving on. He's still keeping us. He's still blessing us. And um, he, God is just so good. Just so good. And I love him so much. And again, I'm so glad, glad to be here. We're so glad you're home. Praise God. Praise God. My boat of life. Sails on a troubled sea. Ever there's a wind in my sail. But I have a friend who watches over. 
Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Let us go. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Oh, bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise I love the Lord tonight. Yes, amen. And I'm so glad he's real. Amen. Aren't you glad the Lord is real? Amen. Amen. Yes. Amen. If uh, some people might look at us and wonder, are they really are they kidding? <laughs> are they really for real? Yes. Amen. I mean, you, you got to be pulling my leg. No, we're really for real. For real. Amen. Something <clears throat> happened to me, as it has many others. And sometimes it, it can almost <clears throat> be a little difficult to um, say exactly what did happen. I used to be one way, and I'm not that way anymore. Amen. And uh, things can go through your mind, and you really want to try to get it out. Yes. Sometimes it doesn't always really come out. So, there has to be an experience. Amen. 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 Because once a person has an experience with Jesus, uh, it really doesn't matter where he can or she can say it just so fine. Because they know something has happened down inside. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Yes, yes. And I can stand here tonight and say that I'm not what I used to be. Amen. And neither are you. Isn't that wonderful? Amen. Amen. Yes. Isn't, that, isn't that wonderful? Yes, yes. 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 That the Lord, and I say the Lord, Amen. Jesus Christ, the anointed one. Yes. Uh, Peter said it this way, and uh, I don't under, ex understand it exactly all. I have to look at it closer. But I was looking at that passage of Scripture, and many of us are familiar with it. It's in the third chapter of Acts, I believe, when they had gone to the, they were going out to the temple yes. to uh, go in at that time of day, and I think it was, what what they say, the, the ninth hour or, uh, or so, and uh, um, he said, uh, he said, Jesus, he, Christ of Nazareth, and there, there was something that come to me when I read that. You know, he wanted to pinpoint exactly who that was. Amen. He wanted that poor man that lay there, that dear beggar who was afflicted in his legs. There was a, there was a man that they brought him there every day of his life. Yes, they did. He was afflicted from his birth. Yes, he was. He couldn't walk on his own. He yes. couldn't function on his own. My Lord. Hallelujah. He needed help. Yes. He couldn't get there. People had to carry, someone had to carry him there, and then the best he could do was beg for something. That's all he could do. My God, what a terrible condition. Amen. Amen. And you see, there's also a spiritual side yeah. to the Bible. That's very illuminating. Yes. <clears throat> because, you know, we didn't really stumble in here tonight. Amen. Amen. We, we didn't come in here by accident. No. No. Amen. A lot of times we think that we're planning our life. We're going to get up and we're going to do this. Yes. We're going to, uh, this afternoon we're going to go here, we're going to do that. We're going we're gonna to do all this stuff. Uh -huh. But then all of a sudden, 
There's one greater than us, the Lord. Amen. This Jesus of Nazareth that Peter spoke about. Yep. Amen. Intervenes. Yes. yes. He comes in. And there he is in your life. And things change. The power of God yes. all of a sudden can take hold of a person's life. Yep. That's and move them from where they are well, to where God. he yeah. wants them to be. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Yes, he's real tonight. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yes. And there's a reason why we're here. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. And uh, My God. Yes. I want I wanted to, to, to read a, just a little bit of that. I, and and, and uh, you know, like Brother Marlowe said, we don't have a a uh, a program. And so we, we don't really plan things out. We, we much rather have the Holy Spirit direct us. Yeah. How many want to be led by Amen. His great Spirit? Amen. How, Amen. how many would want to follow Him tonight? Amen. 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 How many would want to let Christ take hold of you and lead you and guide you? Yeah. Amen. Amen. My Lord, this poor man that laid there couldn't move. And, and then at the end of the day, well, when he had uh, uh, was able to collect all he could, they had to come back and get him and take him back. The next day, the same thing over again. Yes. Praise the Lord. Yes, praise God. Amen. The third chapter of Acts said, Now Peter and John went up together into the temple at the hour of prayer of being the ninth hour, and a certain man lame from his mother's womb, was carried, whom they laid daily at the gate of the temple, which is called Beautiful, to ask alms of them that entered into the temple, who, seeing Peter and John about to go into the temple, asked an alms. And Peter, fastening his eyes upon him with John, said, Look on us. And he gave heed unto them, expecting to, re to receive something of them. Then Peter said, Silver and gold have I none, but such as I have. Praise God. This is a powerful part of the Amen. scripture. Yeah. But such as I have, give I thee. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the name of Jesus Christ of Naz Nazareth. The, the anointed one. That one Christ. That one Jesus. Not another. The one with the power. The one that was able. The one that had the healing. He was there. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Something else. Thank God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I'm so glad this is real. Yes, amen. Yes. I'm so glad that we're God's people. Yes. I'm so glad that He loves us tonight. Yes, amen. That He died for us. Amen. That the that the blood is real. Yes, that the blood that was shed on Calvary is real. Yes, amen. It still contains the same power. Yes. yes. There's power here for not for yes, us tonight. Amen. amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 It's able to take us. Yes, yes. From from the, 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 that low estate where I was. Yes. Like the man in the paper. It was able to move me higher to where I could stand here tonight. Yes. And not be yes. bound. Yes. And not be held back. And we could be free. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. The man was bound. He couldn't move. He had to have help. Praise God, what a terrible condition. But then one day, and, and this is this is really something because before that, see, this was the, after the day of Pentecost. You know, Peter didn't have then what he had at that moment after the day of Pentecost. It was another Peter that stood there. He could, before the day of Pentecost, he could not say, what I have, I give unto thee. Right, amen. I can't give you something I don't have. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I just can't do it. Amen. But God has to give us something. Yes. There's something real, yes. alive, Amen. living on the inside of us. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You're not just a common person. Christ is in your life. Amen. The man that died for you. Amen. The same one that raised this man up to use Peter that day. Thank God there was something in Peter that he could give to 
to that man. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. I thought about uh, the passage of Scripture over in Luke, the fourth chapter and the 18th verse, I believe it is. Isn't, isn't that where he said, uh, where he, he went into the temple or to the synagogue? <clears throat> and uh, he asked for, for Isaiah, he asked for the book, and he began to read out of that book. And, uh, and, and, and many of us, again, very familiar with these passages. <clears throat> and he went on down. Uh, uh, let's look at the 19th, 19th verse for a minute, uh, Brother Steve. See, okay, now the 20th verse. And he closed the book. And he gave it unto the minister, and he sat down. And this was Jesus. Right. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. And the eyes of all of them that were in the synagogue were fastened on him. Now the 21st verse. My Lord, he stunned them when he went in there and began to read from Isaiah, which many of them had read a lot themselves. Yep. There were doctors in there. There were lawyers in there. There were scribes in there. It wasn't just any place. They knew the scripture too. Amen. 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 Oh, yes, they did. Yes, they did. <laughs> and he began to say unto them, now look at this. This day is this scripture fulfilled in your ears. Praise God. You know, they had never been able to get him out of that Old Testament. They had never been able to get him out of that scripture. But all of a sudden, the Son of God was there in front of them. He come to life. Praise God, he stood in front of them. Amen. 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 He was standing there. The Son of God. Go back to the 18th verse, Brother Steve, if you would. The Spirit of the Lord. Because he hath anointed me yes. to preach the gospel to the poor. Yes. That now there's, there, there's things he enumerated here that was his work to do. And he was identifying himself, and he was showing himself, right. and he was revealing himself. Yeah, it was his time. It was time for the poor to become rich. Amen. Yes. Amen. It was time for the brokenhearted to be healed. Yes. It was no longer part the back stuck back for four thousand years in that scripture. Right. But the reality, yes. Hallelujah, Amen. of a real Christ Amen. stood there in front of them that day. Yes. Himself. Jesus, him, the real himself, stood there and said, Today is this scripture fulfilled. Here I am. Ask God, you, are you poor? Do you want to be rich? Are you brokenhearted? Do you want to be healed? Are you blind? Do you want to see? There he was. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. There's power in the word of God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's see. Let's go back to uh, try the 22nd verse of that chapter, Brother Steve. And all bear him witness and wondered at the gracious words which proceeded out of his mouth. And now here were their minds. Here was the mind of men. Right. They could not locate him. They still could not. We're talking about Jesus. We're talking about somebody interrupting our lives. We're talking about somebody being inserted into our lives. We're talking about a reality, a living Christ, the, the, real, the, the real man standing there, the Son of God. Amen. And they said, is not this Joseph's son? Uh -huh. Praise God. Yeah. Whoa. Well, but he wasn't. And, and, and Joseph had reared him. Mary bore him. Yes. And Joseph did the right thing with Mary. He listened to the angel when the angel appeared to him. And did what they said. 
He took Mary as his wife. But, but the scripture said that what was conceived in Mary was of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Praise God. Amen. 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 Praise God. Amen. There was the Son of God standing there with a particular to where he was exposing himself, where he was declaring himself. He, 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 what was what's that scripture? Uh, is that the uh, in, in Isaiah? He said, "Who hath um, believed our report? Who hath re yes, that's it. Who hath believed our report? And to whom? Who hath believed our report? And to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? My God, you know why, Peter?" He didn't have the gold. He really wasn't about gold and silver. It was about what Peter had. It's about what Peter had received. And it came forth on the day of Pentecost. Just like it can come forth tonight. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. He moved out of the pages of the scrolls into the lives of those people. And come on down for 2,000 years. Praise the Lord. Past the day of Pentecost, Amen. past all the others, and he is still being proclaimed. Amen. I tell you, Amen. I I believe the report. Yes, yes. I proclaim yes. him. Yes. I declare him. Christ is here. Yes. You can have him. Yes. You can have him on the inside. Yes. You can live him. You can breathe him. Glory. Hallelujah. 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 He's real tonight. Amen. Jesus. Amen. Jesus Christ. Amen. Of Nazareth, Amen. the one, the only, the powerful, the only Son of God, Amen, that was given to this world that we can be saved, Amen, that we can stand here tonight and preach the word, Amen, that people can be free from their sin, that they don't have to be bound, that they can believe God, that you can move from where you are. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. You don't have glory, to be bound. Glory, glory. Be bound. Amen. It's not in a church anywhere. Amen. It's not churchism. Amen. It's not in a name. Amen. It's in what Christ has put in our hearts. Amen. It's Him. And only Him. Amen. Without Him, we can do nothing. Amen. If you don't have Christ, you can do nothing. Amen. It's not in a program. Amen. It's not in the pages. He's out of the book. He's living. He's breathing. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I love him tonight. Amen. He's real tonight. He goes way past all the others. There's nothing like him. Nothing like him. Oh, when you leave here tonight, you can leave lifted up. Yep. Yep. You can leave with victory. Amen. You can walk out of this building with power. Yes. You can be relieved of whatever burden you're carrying. Yes. Believe it tonight. Amen. 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 Praise God, Christ the Anointed One. He has anointed me to preach the gospel to the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God.
good voice, Brother Larry. Praise God. Thank God for Brother Larry with you. Being at home with us. Lift up his voice. Keep on praising the Lord. Keep on praising the Lord. Until you know the love of God, right. it is awesome to be home. Yes, yes. You know, in some places you go to a cousin's or an aunt and uncle's house, and you know you can't sit there or you can't eat that last piece of chicken on the plate because it wouldn't be polite. <laughs> Come on, you know what I'm talking about, but when you're home, but when you're home, you just reach right on over there, and nobody else has got it at yours. When you're home, you're home, and I'm home. I'm home here. We live in Louisiana. Uh, we are blessed and highly favored. God has kept his hand on us. I got two boys that live in the firefighting, working the fight firefighters, and he keeps his hand over them every day. Uh, my daughter is killing me. Um, I, I, I have much respect for you men that have raised daughters. I pity for you now. I didn't see it before, but I have much love and respect for you now. Amen. Uh, I don't, I've been given a beautiful grandson. He's 20 months old and big as a three-year-old. Good Lord. He lives right across the street, and he knows where Papa's house is. Yes, he does. But we're, I love what you've done with the place. It looks fantastic. I'm sorry we couldn't make it to the convention. We but uh, everybody that labored here, I spent the Brother Marlowe's day. We were, we, were, we, we were in this work for a long time. I sat there and calculated. I think I got it 27 years. Yes, you were. Amen, brother. 27 years we labored right here. Yes, you did. Yeah. My wife's longer than that. She came here when she was a child. But it was a labor of love. Yes, in the beginning, when you're young, brother, joy is just labor. Right. But as you sit here and you get, you're among these people, yes. you're among this group of people, yes. you're among these men that are now older now, and you learn and you glean from them and become the labor of love. Yes. You learn to love this place. Amen. You learn to love what God did for you in this place. Amen. 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 I sat there and we were singing those songs to Sister Marla. Uh, I have a complaint. I don't like that song we sang earlier today. That says, uh, "I can shout." Yes. I want to shout. I think it says. I'm yes. going to shout. I'm going to shout. I'm going to shout. What's the next? I'm going to shout. Uh -huh. What's the next one? In that city, over there. Over there. Over there. Way over there. Way over there. Way over there. Way over there. Why can't I shout? Why can't I shout? Yeah, I'm older. It got so gray, I just cut it off. 
<laughs> it wasn't so great when I first came here. It was long and curly. Yes, it was. Some of y'all might remember that. I remember. It was down to here, nice and curly. God said, nope. <laughs> Not anymore. Not anymore. <laughs> Not anymore. Yeah. Look, God has a way. Yeah. Brother Marlowe mentioned it earlier. He's got the part of God in him, the heart of Jesus in him that he needed to have. Yes, I, I got the part of God in me that I needed to have. Right. You will. You stay right on the fire line. Amen. You keep on dredging and dredging. Okay. Yes. If you didn't grow up doing it and wasn't a drug child, Going to church, you don't know what it's like to commit. I drove to church. Some of us were drugged to church. I, I came here at 14. I came off of one drug and I was drugged to church. I came off of what I was into in the world and I was drugged to church. We didn't like it. I'm going to be honest. It disrupted my whole life. Yeah. Yeah. It disrupted everything I had going on at the age of 14. Yeah. Let me tell you, I knew everything. Yeah. Yeah. I knew it all. Yeah. At 14, I knew exactly where I was going and what I was going to do. God said, nope. Yeah. If you're here tonight, God said nope to you at one point in your life. Yeah. If you're here, the words that were mentioned tonight, God's saying no to you now. That's right. It's not his way. And at 21, I thought I had it figured out. And at 30, I thought I had it figured out. And at 40, I thought I had it figured out. I'm 50, and I still don't know what God's doing with me. Amen. But I do know this. Amen. I do know this. I'm still on the wheel. Amen. All right. Amen. You ever notice that over there? He's never taken him off the wheel. He may be marred. But he just forms him into something else. Yeah. Something else. Yeah. He just keeps him right on that wheel and keeps on forming. I don't care if it's a little enough. He'll use you for a pistol holder. But he'll use you. Just stay on the wheel and let him work on you. Because you don't know. When you first came, when you first came, did you know? No, no. Did you know you'd be preaching the word? Never when you ran around this town and the sheriff was chasing you, did you never know, know that you'd be a, a pastor over at work? No. I never knew it. I never knew it. No. 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 You didn't know. So you're sitting there thinking, if it's your first time, or maybe you've been here for several years, or maybe you're thinking you're young and God's not going to do anything for you. He is. He is. He's doing it. Yes. He's doing it. Yes. But you got a right to shout now. All right. Amen. You got a right yes. to shine now. Yes. Amen. Yes, you have. Oh, God. Amen. Yes, you have. You go. I'll go there real briefly. I don't want to be long. I'm sure something else. Uh, I think it's Exodus 15. Yes. Oh, yes. Exodus 15. These people, God's people. God's people. Yes. Being held for 400 years. Yes. I believe it was that long. Yes. They were held, enforced, and downtrodden, belittled, beaten, worked over, worked under, worked around, forced the Pharaoh had it until it was done. When God had had enough. Look, when God had enough, Troy, he planted you. Amen. You may have thought that, oh, I'm just here because my parents may be bringing me. But when God's had enough, he'll plant you. Amen. He's trying to plant you. But he's got to get you to the garden to plant you. Amen. Now, these people came out of captivity. Excuse me. They came out of captivity. Yes. And this 15 chapter is a song. Yes, they had a right to sing a song. They have a right. And you ever run into a child of God that's got a right to sing a song? They'll sing it. Amen. Amen. Come on, there, you see them, you see them. You see them, they're in the car, everybody else is striping about that red light, green light traffic, that child of God's in, the t in there. God look in me, I'm a child of the king. They're in there. You run really, somebody's got a right to sing a song. Say amen if you got a right to sing a song. You get everybody living through something, brought out of something. Look, some of them people didn't know no different. They grew up there. Come they were born in it. They thought that was life. What you think is life ain't life. Right. right. It's the life. It's the way. Yeah. He said he was. He said, I am the way. I am the life. Yeah. 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 And you run into somebody 
has come out of it and came into it, they're saying a song. They're singing a song. Sometimes, sometimes, when you come out and you come in, it's not a bed of roses. It's not. I wish I could sit here and tell you that when you give your life to the Lord, everything goes away in life with Jesus. Everything is roses. Everything's going to go perfect. You won't have sickness anymore. You won't have jealousy anymore. You won't have depression anymore. You won't have diseases. Life's just going to be a bed of roses. I can't tell you that. I can't say that. These people came out. I mean, let, me, let, me, let me just hit on some key points. The first verse. Then sang Moses and the children of Israel this song unto the Lord and spake, saying, I will sing unto the Lord, for he hath triumphed gloriously. The horse and his rider have been thrown into the sea. What was holding them down has now been destroyed. You ever had something that was holding you down destroyed? Amen. You thought it was over. It's done. I can't win. I can't beat this. I can't get over it. I can't get through it. I can't get around it. And Jesus, or God, however you want to look at it, said that's done. I took care of it. They go on and they sing it. They're singing. It's in the water. Amen. The chariots and the horses and the spears and all that. It's in the water. They see it floating. Amen. They see it going on. Throwing them into the sea. Matter of fact, a woman and another man, uh, uh, what's her name, uh, came out with a, with a symbol. With a Miriam. 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 Came out. She's yes. dancing and singing with a tambourine. Yes. Yes. Boy, there's some things yes. God brought me yes. from. I was going, hallelujah. There's no way I could have conquered that. There's no way I could have got around that. There was nothing I could have done about that. So I gave it to God. And you know what? He didn't do it as fast as I wanted him to. I wanted him to do it. God here at church, fix it. I'm waiting. And I'm waiting. And when I learned to get my spirit right, when I learned that I gave it, I gave it, forget about it, that's what he said is done. Yeah. It's done. It Once I got right about giving it to him and accepted it was given to him, and I got that worry, that dread, that, oh, man, it's still there. Once you give it, gave it, forget it. Then he'll take care of it. But if you're still worrying and fretting and stomach turning and Crying and boo hooed over it. God said, Well, you didn't thought you gave it to me. Amen. Rejoice. I got it. Rejoice. Sing a song. Get happy. Amen. Find somebody else that can get happy and hang out with it for a while. Amen. They'll work you over good. You hang around with somebody that, oh, what they used to call us when we was kids? Oh, Jesus freaks in school. Oh, in school, you were a Jesus freak. They're not like us. They're Jesus free. <laughs> Hallelujah. I'm glad you're freaking on. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Let me go on. Let me go on. I don't want to be too lengthy. The Lord is my strength and song. Yes. Yes. Not me. Not my friend. Not my brother. He. Yes. He's your strength. Yes. He wants to be your strength. Yes. He wants to be your provider. Yes. Look, you go back in the beginning. He made everything. We, man, cannot have to do nothing but reap it. Amen. 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 That's all Adam had to do was Amen. reap it. He didn't have to grow it, plant it, work it, nothing. It was done. God's got it all taken care of. Amen. He's got it all in his hand. Amen. Just reap it. Amen. Reap it. Amen. He's got it. Amen. It's all in his hand. It's right out in front of you. Amen. Just reap it. Reap it. That's the way it started, and that's the way I believe it still is. Amen. Amen. He still wants you to just reap it. Amen. He's got it under control. I am the way, the truth, and the life. You don't need nothing else. Amen. The way and the truth and the life is all you need. Just reap from it. I'm getting lengthy here. Um, the 13th verse, thy, thou in thy mercy has led forth the people which thou hast redeemed Thou hast guided them in thy strength unto thy holy habitation. Thank you, Lord. Amen. This is a holy habitation. Amen. 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 You can't tell me otherwise. Amen. Amen. Yes. 
I've seen too much in 27 years. Yeah. I've prayed too hard. I've been on the receiving end of prayers in here. That beautiful wife of mine that sang and that beautiful daughter over there and there's, there's a 21 year old boy up there in Louisiana that's putting out fires that we all should be dead. Every one of us wow. should have died 12 years ago. <laughs> she was pregnant. We left here. We left church. Right. Yeah. Eight and a half months pregnant. We left church. Just got done praising God and got in a horrific accident. Yeah. Crushed my pelvis. Threw me out of the vehicle. But there she is. Yeah. There they are. And there he is. It's a holy habitation. Yeah. And things are going to get out of your control. If you got nothing you can do with it, it's going to have to be in his control. Yeah. His holy habitation. Yeah. You'll sing a song. Trust me. I sing a song. Amen. I've been delivered. I've seen him work. Amen. I've been here when a whole church prayed for a dead man in the street. Yeah, that's the truth. Right. 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 Yeah. He's over there right now suffering a fall because of the, sh the silly shoes he wears. But <laughs> anyway, dead in the street. Was he not Hank? He was, was dead. Was John Stewart dead? He was dead. 250, 300 people stopped service right here. I showed up that door of blood from here to here and said, you got to pray for my dad. He died. Yes. And by the time we got to the hospital, you could barely resemble an accident on his head. But he died. He died on the ground. He died twice in a helicopter. Yes. It's a holy habitation. It's a holy holy. Holy. Oh, All right, I'm getting oh, ready. Thou shalt bring, 17th verse, thou shalt bring them in. Yeah. You are the them. I am the them. Yeah. We are the them. If you're here tonight, he's trying to bring you in. Yeah. No, he's not. My neighbor invited me. Yes, he is. He used your neighbor to invite you. Yes. He's trying to bring you in. Yes, yeah. He is trying to bring us in Amen. to another place, Brother Marlowe. Oh, yes, he is. Lord. I honestly believe, Brother Marlowe, he's trying to deliver us to another place. Amen. You wouldn't be here if you didn't know there was something more. Amen. We wouldn't be here if we didn't know there was no, something more. Thank you. We'd have given that's up. True. Amen. But God's never done surprising me. Let me let me go on. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be to the point I'm getting to about a tree. God revealed it to me about a tree. Okay, but let me let me let me get there. Let me finish that 17th verse. Uh, Plant them in the mountain of thine inheritance in the place, O Lord, which thou hast made for thee to dwell in. In the sanctuary, O Lord, yes. which thy hands have established. Brother Marlowe didn't build it. Right. The man before you didn't build it. Didn't no, God built it. Uh -huh. God's had his hand over it. God has had his hand over it. He's, He's got a hand over this. He's got his hand over you. Because he brought you into this. Yes. Amen. He wants to have his hand over you. Yes, amen. The hard part is, it's giving him our hand and letting him lead us. Amen. amen. I don't care what age you are. Amen. It's hard. Amen. Amen. It will get hard. Yes. Let me let me see if I can paraphrase this, and I'll sum it up as quick as I can. It wasn't three days after this great jubilee in the desert, this great song and dance and praising of God. That they ran into a situation yeah. where the water that they begged God for, they couldn't drink it. God just brought them out of something miraculous, something earth shattering in their lives, and they led them right into some place where they couldn't even drink the water. Been there? You ever go from the Bible says from glory to glory, but us being natural people, we look at from valley to valley. Yeah. God just delivered you from something, and now something else has hit you, Sister Sherry. Yes. You get over one thing, and you think everything's going to go good, and something else comes in. Yes. Something else comes in. But let me tell you something. Come on. He told that God told Moses, there's a tree. Now, I don't know about y'all. I'm not no big farmer, no big fruit guy, and no that kind of stuff, but a tree just don't grow overnight. That's right. <laughs> Amen. 
but long time ago. Why, then people were still in their misery, Brother Adolf. Why, they were still suffering their afflictions of Pharaoh, brother, brothers and sisters. God had planted a seed in the earth. He watered it. He nurtured it. He looked after that seed. And as those people were suffering and going through it, that seed was growing. Yes. Let me tell you something. God's got something already planted for you. Yeah. It is there. Yeah. It's already grown. Yeah. It's, already, yeah. it's already been watered. Yeah. The earth has already been stopping around it. It's right there. Amen. He started that thing for you. Amen. Way before you got here. Way before you ran into that illness. Amen. Way before you got in the situation that you're in. God planted that tree. And when you got there, he could say, don't worry. I've got something in place. Amen. Amen. I've got something in place, and you can go read it for yourself. If you put that in the water, you can drink it. Yes. Yes. I don't care what you're in. I don't care if this is your first time and you've been here 60 years. Amen. You're going to run into situations that just absolutely looks impossible. Amen. And you're going to lay on your bed. Amen. And I have. You're going to, I'm testifying now. You're going to lay in your bed. Amen. And you're going to pray. Yep. You're going to pray, oh God. Yep. Oh God, what have I done? Oh, well, what's going on? What do I do? How do I get out of this? I don't know. I don't know, God. I don't know. I don't know, God. And I'm, let me tell you, your answer was planted a long time ago. Amen. Yeah. Amen. It's there. Amen. It's there. Amen. Church, it's there. Amen. Just take him and put him in your water. Amen. Put him in your water and drink up. Amen. Drink up. Amen. Church, we love, we love this place. Yeah. We miss this place. Yeah. We miss you. We are a part of you. We are part of We're a part of you up down in our kingdom country up down. Yeah. <laughs> we may be eating crawdads and grits up there, there or some boudin, yeah. but we're a part of y'all. Oh. We watch y'all. We watch y'all on, on uh, YouTube and we listen to y'all. Um, we pray for y'all. We support y'all. We have we have family here. We pray for them. Y'all pray You're for Dean. You're part of us. Y'all pray for Dean. He's uh, going through it. But I believe God's going to bring him through it. Yeah. Yeah. If you brought him to it, what's that, brother? Yeah. 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 Bring him through it. Yeah. Brought him to it. So, church, we love you. Amen. We love you. I appreciate being here. Amen. Don't think we don't love y'all. Don't think we're out of mind and out of pocket, out of mind, out of sight, out of mind, heart. That's us. Go. Because you're not. You're not. We think about y'all and we pray for y'all all the time. So y'all give God the glory. Hallelujah.
riches belongs to the children of God. How many feel like this hand is on you today? Praise the name of the Lord. I said, how many feel that the hand of God is upon your life today? I'd like to hear from you. Every one of you that feel the hand of God. standing while you're there. I, if you feel that, if you feel that, and I believe you do, I want you to join me in the chorus. It is no secret what God can do. If you're here and you want us to pray with you in any manner or if you just want to form a little prayer group down here in the front, two or three of you, three or four of you. Brother Jamie, I have a word for you. The Lord has his hand upon you. Amen. I've never met you. How old are you? 21? 31. Very young man. I don't know anything about you. But God brought you here tonight. Praise God. I believe. I don't know where you go to church. I don't know what you do. But I know God brought you here. Yes, amen. amen. And I know that tonight is a crossroads. Amen. Thank you, Lord. And you're going to go a different way. And God is going to give you a journey you've Thank never you, taken. Lord. Amen. From this night on. Amen. Do you believe, Brother Jamie, a man of God is telling you the truth now? Yes, I do. do you accept that? Amen, Brother. Raise your hand with me. God bless Praise Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Take this young man and lead him in the way you're wanting him to go. Because this young man is going to be a blessing to thousands of people. God's hand. God's hand. Praise God. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise our God. Hallelujah. Amen, Jesus. Amen, Jesus. Brother Ed Perry, your wife, uh, she's in the nursery, is she? I understand she has to return back to Costa Rica, is that right? But I'm going to believe God. Are you facing some immigration areas there with, with her, getting into this country, staying here? Are you facing that? that? How many will believe with me that this Amen. young lady we baptized today, yes. the mother of the dead Christian, he's here. He has a home here. He has a calling here. He has a job here. How many believe God can bring his wife Amen. and let her be here Amen. and erase the problems wherever they are that you're dealing with? Do you believe it, Brother Edgar? Yes, thank you, Lord. Lift your hand, Brother Jamie, lift your hand. Amen. A man of God, I speak only as God speaks to me. And those around me know I don't do this. Let it be seen, let it be right. When I feel the Holy Ghost, Amen. and I believe the Holy Ghost is here tonight. Amen. I said, I believe the Holy Ghost is Amen. in this place. And has been here all day with us. Yes. Brother, we're going to pray. I want everyone to join me. Oh God, oh will God. you, oh God. will you tonight touch the United States government yes. and free this man's wife? And let her be with her husband and family in the United States of America. I believe it in the name of Jesus. How many believe God is greater than government of men? Greater than the government of men. 
I believe it tonight. How many will pray with me concerning this young man, Jamie? Lord, lead this young man. And let him leave this place tonight not the same as he came. In the name of Jesus. Brother Larry, I have a word for you. Deidre. I don't know what the fork in the road is going to be. It will be a few months. But God is going to lead you and guide you to the next step. Because you haven't settled the last issue God has his hand on you for. There is yet the work in the harvest field. Oh, God, yes, yes. God's going to see you more. Praise the name of the Lord. And as you've been willing to go to Louisiana and try to seek his will, you've been blessed there. And whatever God's will is for you next, accept it. And God will bless you and bless you and bless you. How many will pray with me for Brother Larry and Sister Deidre? In the name of Jesus tonight, Lord, lead this family that has grown up in this place. And we have birthed them in the Holy Ghost. And this church is the mother spiritually of their lives. Now, Lord, lead them to the next step. Position has yet to do what he can do and will do, but God. Amen. Has Amen. But God. Would you say with me? But God has already. Has already. Has already. Before Isaac was in the womb of Sarah, a ninety-year-old woman, he was already born of God. The miracle that I'm expecting tonight is not coming. It's here. I'm not praying for tomorrow's blessing. Sufficient today is the day of salvation. We serve a living God now. And we must arouse this community to trust God. To trust God. To do his Austin. I have a word for you, young man. I don't know your life in the past, but I can tell you this. Your heart is not hard concerning God Amen. and your dear wife. You two young people are not hard concerning the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Don't let my heart be hard on God. How many will pray for a broken heart? A broken spirit? How many know we need a broken spirit? A broken heart. You young people who came here seeking tonight, I know you did. We do not have a program Amen. where the Holy Ghost can come in here. Come on, both of you, you young people, come, come here now. Praise God. Come on, reverse that song. 
just as I am without one plea, I come. Just as I am without one plea, I come. And wherever you are tonight in this house, if you need a touch of the Master's hand, get out of your chair. Get out of there. Come. Just have strength and have faith. And if you young people want to come and pray with us here, you can come. Their elders will be standing down here, and they'll pray with you. And, and, and wherever you are, house, and you elders, you men of God, come down and be ready to pray. Praise the name of the Lord. Wherever you are, you can come to Jesus, because he brought you here tonight. Just as I am, without one, please.